Bloat can be so frustrating, but that's what we're about to change with this five minute workout. Yes, that's right, it's only five minutes. We're gonna be doing 10 exercises and we're only doing them once, so make sure to give it your all during each exercise. At the very end, I'm gonna be going over some more tips on how you can decrease blow even when you're not exercising. And if you're here for the premiere, congratulations. You have a chance of winning the prize at the end. If you're not one of the first to watch this video, make sure to turn on notifications. This is gonna let you know when my next premiere drops so that you can have a chance at the next prize. Let's get moving. Okay, we're gonna start right here. We're just gonna walk it out. First exercise we have is a step and twist, just like this. In five, four, three, two, one, let's do this. Good, we're gonna twist, 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 twist. This is gonna activate our core, get our body warm. And we got five seconds here, keep twisting. Good job. Two, one, and walk it out. We're gonna do a quick walk. Lift those knees up, get those arms pumping. Next exercise we're doing is high kicks, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. Kick, kick, kick. Kick, great job. Kick nice and high. If you're not able to get it up that high, that's okay, do it where you can. 10 seconds left here. Keep it up. Nice job. I'm keeping my core nice and tight and kicking out. Okay, and walk it out again. Next exercise we got is a double knee pull down. I know this is fast paced, but keep up and you got this. Okay, so we're gonna go one, two, one, two. Let's go. One, two, one, Two, that's it. Pull it down. You're doing great. Nice. Keep it up. Really bring that knee up to your shoulder. Visualize your knee touching your shoulder. Good job. Okay, walk it up. Next exercise we got here is we're gonna reach out and tap our foot out like that. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Tap, keep it up. You're doing great. Nice job, we're opening our body up, twisting it a little bit, getting rid of that blow as we do it. And we're gonna walk it out, let's go. Walk, 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 lift those knees up. Okay, next exercise we're gonna do is bicycle crunches. Hands come up here, three, two, one, crunch. Crunch, crunch, that's it. Keep going. Bring your knee to your elbow. Knee to elbow. Halfway there. If you can, speed it up right here. Good. We're making the most of this five minutes. Great job. Okay, walk it out. Don't get lazy with the walk. Next exercise we got is a ground tap and reach. So we're gonna touch the ground like this and reach up. Touch and reach up. Let's go. Touch, reach, touch, Reach, we're doing this as fast as we can. If you're not doing it at my pace, that's okay. Just do it at your pace, but try to push yourself a little bit. Five, four, three, two, one. Great job, walk it out. Walk, 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 you got this. Next exercise we got is a side punch plus tap out. So we're gonna punch the side. Kind of similar to the exercise we did a couple exercises ago. Let's go, punch, punch. Punch. We're putting a little bit more power behind this. Getting our heart rate up, getting our body feeling warm, decreasing that blow. You're doing just great. Nice. Keep it up. Okay, let's walk it out. Okay, next exercise we got is rainbow arms and we're gonna sidestep at the same time, just like this. Three, two, one, let's go. Nice. Make sure to keep your core nice and tight while you're doing this exercise. Open up your arms. Feel the burn in your arms as you lift them up and only bring them just to the sides like this. Good job. Three, two, one, walk it out. Good job. Come on, keep those knees coming up. Second last exercise, we're gonna do forward and back taps just like this. You can't do this. Step, 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 step. Let's go. Good. 
Almost there, 10 more seconds. If you're not here, step, 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 step. I'm gonna keep going with this. Let's go. Three, two, one. Okay, walk it out. Last exercise. This is our very last one. Wow, that went fast. We're gonna go like this. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. First 10, first 10 seconds, we're just gonna go like this. We're coming to our next 10 seconds. We're gonna speed it up, let's go. Speed it up. Nice job. This blow is gone. Keep it up. Good. And let's just cool down right here. Keep your feet moving. Slowly slow down. We don't wanna just abruptly stop and then let everything go. We're just gonna keep walking, cool down a little bit. And now we're gonna talk about other ways that you can decrease bloat. Okay, so the first way that we can decrease blow, aside from exercise, is to start drinking more water. When you drink more water, your body renews itself and your digestion works a lot better. A lot of times when we're bloated, it's air that's kind of trapped in our digestive system or in our stomach, and it just sits there and makes us feel uncomfortable. So start drinking more water. Another way is to decrease the amount of sodium in your diet. If you're having a lot of processed foods or foods that are high in sodium or just topping on all the salt, you gotta tone it down a little bit. This is gonna help decrease the blow. And if you're really having trouble with decreasing your sodium, maybe just add more potassium into your diet. You can get that from bananas. Bananas are one of my favorite ways to add potassium in my diet because I like having them in my smoothies. But if you're not a banana person, that's okay. You can get it from other sources. You can get it from tuna. You can get it from potatoes. There's many different sources of potassium. So maybe start adding that into your diet so that it counteracts the sodium in your diet and helps you decrease that blow and make you feel more comfortable. Another thing you can do is start walking after you have a large meal. Sometimes when we have a large meal, we can feel just like absolutely uncomfortable and just, you know, bloated and just gross. If you get your body moving after your meal, this is gonna help counteract that and make sure that your digestion is working a lot better. You can either walk outside or do a walking workout with me here on YouTube. And this is just gonna make you feel so much better. Another thing that you can do is drink less through straw. When you drink through a straw, you're actually allowing all that air in the straw before the water comes up into your mouth to go into your system, and that's actually creating a lot more blow. If you stop drinking with straws, maybe just start drinking straight out of the cup. This is gonna help decrease the amount of bloat you're having on a day-to-day -day basis. Finally, another great way to decrease bloat is to work on your gut bacteria. Sometimes our gut isn't healthy and it's actually not being able to digest and absorb the food properly that we're eating. So something that you could invest in is a good probiotic that's gonna help heal your gut bacteria, give you some good gut bacteria and allow you to feel less bloated on a regular basis. Thanks for watching this video and doing this five minute workout with me. And if you learned something new, make sure to drop it in the comments below. I love hearing your progress, what you love about the workouts. And if you have any questions, comments below are the great place for me to answer what you have to ask. Make sure you subscribe, follow me on Instagram, join my Facebook group, and I'll see you next time. As a special thank you to my subscribers who have watched this video the entire way through during the premiere, I'm giving three of you access to my big booty tight tummy program for free. This four week program is fully guided like the video you watched today and is actually my best selling program. All you have to do to claim the prize is use code YouTube 100 at checkout when you visit godaily.ca backslash bbttgo. Only the first three ladies that use this code are gonna get access, so make sure you move quick. If you're not one of the first to watch this video, make sure you're subscribed and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss the next giveaway on the next premiere. I'll see you next time.